Afternoon everyone, Gord Forte here from the Instant Leader and this is this week's editorial. Vote splitting is no excuse. There are many people out there that have pointed to vote splitting as the culprit or the justification or however you want to put it as to why we got the election results we did. Truth is that is not a valid reason to place blame, justification, what have you or any anything. Why do we say that? Well, vote splitting is really not a valid excuse. Parties win or parties lose based on how many voters they can appeal to. So the party that won ended up taking power because they appealed to the most voters. The parties that lost did not appeal to enough people to win. That is why we say it's an unvalid reason. Also, if you look at history moving to the left side of the political spectrum, the left has never really needed to unite itself or ever really needed to worry about vote splitting because left-wing parties have still been able to solidly win elections even with other left-wing parties breathing down their necks. Look at the Liberals federally for the later half of uh, the 20th century. They managed to win majority governments even with the NDP breathing down their necks. And even they are just as guilty also of blaming vote splitting because there are times when they talk about the NDP stealing votes, again federally, that would allow the Conservatives to win, the Progressive Conservatives or the Conservative Party of today. And in their case, they are equally wrong because they lost because they did not appeal to enough voters. It's really that simple. So, in our opinion, when somebody blames vote splitting for the results of an election, it is really just an excuse that masks bitterness of a loss. Again, pe parties, people, leaders, what, are, what have you, they lose elections because they don't appeal to enough voters. That's the beat, that's where parties live and that's where parties die. How many voters can they appeal to? Anyway, my name is Gord Forte for the Edson Leader. This was this week's editorial. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.